Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome back to another Ongrat video. Welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. Forgot that my face was being recorded for a second because I have been playing a lot of The Witcher lately, where my camera is off. I'm recording that without the camera. Wanted to have the little video that was rendering while I was reading for my therapy education. I have to read a little chapter about authenticity or about realness. Recorded some The Witcher, but then I realized if I have to edit it now, I will never have time to read it before I have to go out with friends. So, quickly fitting in a little unedited, podcast-esque, reflection-esque Heroes of the Storm video in there. Recording this, rendering it without editing it, while reading and then uploading while reading as well. That's gonna be nice. Friendly team, me on Junkrat, hero I've really, really been enjoying lately, but especially today. Or, well, today? No, yesterday I enjoyed it a lot, but I have been enjoying it lately, that's what I meant to say. We have Tiranda as a healer, Vala and Tassadar as additional damage dealers, Varian as a bit of an all-around bruiser, don't know which way he's gonna go. Nova, Sylvanas and Chromie on the enemy team as damage dealers, Arthas as the tank and Brightwing finally as the backline healing dispenser, health provider, health dispense provider, provider, health dispenser, provider. Uh, I'm having a stroke. I realized that it's not necessarily like the best day for me in terms of recording while playing The Witcher today. I really spewed out some hot garbage trash. Not, ex I'll, I'll go out and say it, not extremely proud with how the episode turned out, but in the end I'm glad I am just recording. I hope that this episode, this video will turn out a little bit better, but I think it will, because I am mainly going to focus on just talking saying what I have to say, being nice and cool and calm and collected about it, not rushing, also not dragging, because otherwise I will get a slap to the face by my good friend JK Simmons, get that reference to respect points, but just calm, calm and collected, collect my thoughts and only then start sharing them, not just keep on rambling for the sake of rambling. It's a promise I have tried to make to myself a bunch of times before and already. It has never worked out for quite that long, but I feel like it's not necessarily like something I want to focus on in 2024. It's something I want to focus on for this video though, that's for sure. Just speak. Speak in a concisive, cohesive, coherent manner and make the rest not matter all that much. The main focus is going to be the commentary. There's going to be some nice Heroes of Storm gameplay in the background, and I think, lately, considering the type of games I have had with Junkrat, we can almost certainly, you can almost certainly beforehand even say, like, this is going to be an, either a victory, or at least I'm going to play the, the game that I want to play, if that makes any sense, because I feel like lately I really, really have been putting in some nice work with my Junkrat. We might die here while we get ambushed, but I feel like it is worth the early game structure damage Let's try and get some mines in there would have been amazing to hit chromie as well i think i'm just gonna get him off his mount as quickly as possible try and dodge yeah i mean i predicted it i could have gone away a little bit earlier because chromie had was been was hanging around for a while or i could just look at my map a bit more i feel like map awareness is way worse for me in Heroes of the Storm than it is in League. Because I feel like in Heroes of the Storm there's just way much more shit happening at all times and that makes it quite difficult for me to actually look at the map at the same time. In League, sure, there's also a lot of things happening but it's a little bit calmer. Maybe it's also just because I've played more League still after all, even though I have played quite a lot of Heroes of the Storm already, I've definitely played more League still and I'm a little bit more used to whatever the leak throws at me in terms of like visual effects and stuff like that but in general i feel like heroes of the storm is just a little bit more cool calm collected just a little bit uh easier to look at most of the time i'm glad that i was able to pop out of that immediately i'm just gonna use this guy to stack my quest up i don't necessarily actually want to kill him i just want to hit him a bunch of times and if possible zone control to the extent of or my team being able to collect the dragon knight oh jesus christ that was a little bit too close for comfort i i did all i could there i mean i can't control that area longer because i was almost dead 
Are they capturing the bottom side as well? Yes, they sure are. Where is this fella? I don't want to get ambushed. I don't want to get surprised. But I feel like I might. He was getting his heals. I'm not going to be able to control this. He is too dominating of a presence here. I might get some attacks out there. Quick Junkrat tip. If a person is standing over here, you can throw your mine just... You can throw your grenades on top of the wall. Because it will explode and he will get hit by it. Even if he is trying to not stand immediately in the explosions, the explosions will just pop immediately. And the AoE will make it so that you get some nice quest stacks in there. Brightwing is in the Dragonite. I think that's fine because they are out a healer. Well, I mean, I think from their entire team, that is probably the, the best approach to put Brightwing in there. Because he can disappear for a while, especially in the early game now. Where burst is not really a problem for them. So if Brightwing come back, comes back after a while, that is also just still fine. Looks like our Varian Rin is facing a little bit of difficulty here. Get Brightwing in our turret range if possible. Two turret shots. Oh yeah, satisfied with that. Kill Nova if possible as well. She's dead right now. Make sure that we keep looking at where we actually are on the map though. Artus ran right into our trap. You're dead. I'm, I'm going crazy. I mean, our entire team is going crazy a bit, but I feel like I went a little bit crazy there. Should have hit that final mine, but yeah, that was nice. That gives us a nice experience boost, gives me a nice window to go up to the top lane. You can take that camp. I'm going to focus on experience for a while, because look at all this XP lying around here. I need to capture that first. I'm sorry, Vala. I, I saw your pings. I'm sorry for not helping out, but there's just a whole bunch of experience here. Now I will come and help you out. And in general, we are almost an entire level ahead. We're doing great this game. It's not like we're dominating or anything, but we are sitting on a potential win. That's my my two cents on the subject for this point in time. I will go rocket ride. Tried some rip tire games out yesterday, but it's just it's not the same for me. It, it doesn't quite do it for me. You know, I I like rocket tire. No, I like the rocket. Right, a lot more, a lot more than Riptire. Uh, Brightwing, you are not him. You might think you are him and that you can move up straight in my face, but no, you are not him at all, in fact. I guess I'll just keep the enemy team busy up here in the top lane for a second. They are clearing out the camp that we took. I'll try and get some quest stacks up there while we're here. There we go. 28, nothing to sneeze at. Well, yeah, yeah, no, that's definitely something to sneeze at. That is not that high at all yet. That's like a guy that has smoked like one tenth of a doobie, you know? Not high at all yet. Getting there, he's, he's starting to feel a little tingle, you know? But it's not uh, it's not something to write home about. Oh, almost flew straight into all of Chromie's bullets there. I'm just trying to trying to stick up my quest more than I'm actually trying to defend here. Headshot. I guess Tassa that pulled off something nice. We have to focus the healer if you want to have any chance at victory. I'm providing quite some damage, but it's not necessarily enough. I'll keep my mind there for when he moves too close. Or to just escape on my own. Not necessarily an escape right there, just a little bit of a fancy, fancy sh movement. Careful, Varian. We don't want to get in too deep. Sum 41, right? Into deep, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. I think it's Sum 41. Because I mean, too deep. Something, something, something. Right? That's how the song goes. Last time I checked. We can kill Chromie too. We can kill all of them. If they are not too pussy here. Which they seem to be. I don't. I wouldn't call them too pussy. Maybe they were just playing a bit more careful and a bit more defensive. And I mean, in the end, it's all fine. I would hope Tassadar would have captured the bottom altar there because I feel like he was there alone, but maybe he's not there alone at all and I'm just spewing hot garbage out of my ass. I respect your engage, but I would actually just like to focus on the building if possible because I want to up my siege damage game. It's something I mainly focus on in Heroes of the Storm in general, but especially if I'm playing with someone like Junkrat, siege damage really is the way to go for me. Don't get polymorphed. Thank you. I'll just destroy the building. I hope this is enough damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad with that. Maybe could have 
popped my ult a little bit further down so that I could have gotten some more minion damage with the exploding grenades that I leave behind on death. Or pseudo death, I guess it's not really death with the, the rocket ride ability. Sylvana should be dead. Almost moved straight into... Will we have this in time? No, I thought so. I saw that they had control over the mid lane and I thought like, yeah, no, this is not great. This is not going to be good. You guys kill Nova. I'm going to start just stacking up my quest relentlessly against this Dragon Knight fella. Can't make him fly, right? No, so our mind just deals some damage to him. Hope our Q recharges quickly. It is Chromie inside the Dragon Knight this time around. They have lost one of their potential dra Dragon Dealers. Damage Dealers. Dragon dealers that sound like this new hyped up ecstasy pill has hit the market called Dragon and somebody is in Compass Club in Ghent trying to serve some people up with some fresh ecstasy goodness. I don't condone drug use in the slightest. I have never used drugs myself. Recurring topic on the Ongre channel so I'm not gonna delve too far into it but unless you count alcohol which you should of course unless you count cal unless you take into account uh, caffeine as well. Which is also a drug, I guess. Alcohol is definitely the drug I have consumed. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was going to say something very worrying for a second there. I have for sure consumed more caffeine than alcohol in my life. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, definitely. Right? It, it must be, right? I, it, I drink coffee every single day. I don't drink alcohol every single day. I mean, not every single day, but some days, you know. A, a nice cup of, a cup of hot beer. That's how we drink beer in Belgium. We heat it up in a cup. A nice cup of hot beer can okay. just hit that mark, you know. Today, though, today it's going to be Aperol Spritz. A nice little cocktail. Talking about alcohol right after talking about not drinking that much alcohol is not the best look. Uh, my team is just dying. But I guess in the meantime, we are getting some nice pushing power out there. I'm just destroying the wall. Okay. Okay. Recollect my thoughts a little bit. I'm rambling. I'm rambling and I am aware of it. And awareness is the first step to change. Nova was hanging around here somewhere in her stealth business. I want to be a little bit careful, but I want to also just help out Artasa that here and show myself while doing so. Because it was a nice thought of him to do the camp right now. Do the jungle camp, that is. We had all the room in the world to work with. Some nice damage. Chromie, you shouldn't stand around there for too long because you will get your head thumped in. Our team has pushed the building here in the mid lane, so I guess there's no use investing too much into pushing here. Also, no use in dying to Sylvanas for sure. No, 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 no. I saw her. I saw her. A little bit too late, but I did see her. I need to be careful now because Nova has some long range attacks. Quickly just fit a recall in there. Going out for drinks with some ex-colleagues. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. It is my favorite drink of the moment. Aperol Spritz. It's, some people call it a feminine drink. A girly drink. I'm, I'm not amused that we are gender genderifying our drinks. I feel like that is just insane. But it's something that's happened often or has happened as long as I can remember here in Belgium, especially like the fruit beers. They are considered to be female drinks. You can't drink them as a male because then you are a sissy or even even intenser you are called gay. Which is just, it makes no sense at all. People drink what they want to drink, right? But I am therefore looking forward to the evening because it's going to be an evening filled with the drink I like and love and filled with love for my colleagues as well we will get some nice minefield action in here it's me and a colleague are meeting up or me and an ex-colleague that i have not seen for a while it's really been like a while since i've seen that fella and i'm really lo looking forward to getting reacquainted see what's going on in his life at the moment and if we can pair that with some nice and tasty alcoholic beverages then well it's a win-win situation right i'm not addicted i swear i just need it that's a joke as well. That's purely satire, but that's like the joke everyone makes. I'm not addicted to it. I just need it. <laughs> makes no sense, of course, because if you need it and you do just need it, that, that means that you are addicted, buddy. I should be more careful about throwing terms like addiction out there. Just 
earlier yesterday I was reading about how sexual addiction is actually just a social construct and not a real diagnosis, which is something I, even though I am a clinical psychologist, did not even realize. I thought, yeah, sexual addiction will for sure be something that exists. And don't get me wrong, it's something that exists, but it's not a formal diagnosis. And they are looking at it from the framework of the addiction disorders as they are listed in the Diagnostic, Diagnostic and Statistical Manual for Mental Disorders, which is the DSM-5, of course. And that makes it so that they are looking at it from the standpoint of a disorder in, in in the chemical sense, in the chemical dependence sense, which makes it not well described at all. Because, of course, the mechanisms are going to be extremely, extremely different in sexual disorders or in sexual addiction versus in a chemical imbalance or in a chemical addiction like something like alcohol or drugs or other drugs, I should say. So be careful. Be careful calling someone a sex addict because we are not completely certain what being a sex addict then means. That's my uh, psychology lesson that I give you today. Free. For free. Completely for free. I'm sorry, bro, but you are just that. Nothing I could do there. Let's fire up their base. Just completely put it in shambles, if possible. We have reached level 20 before them. This means that our siege damage capacities are now really just through the roof. Both our grenade launcher and our handgun. I don't think I could have saved you. Because you were a bit far off. off. And additionally, because also I didn't have that much health remaining, so potentially I would have just died. I'm standing right here at the precipice, ready to immediately capture the Dragon Knight. There we go. Alright. I'll use it to just push the mid lane a little bit, I guess. I wish I could do some more with it, but I think for now we don't necessarily have the, the best angle to approach. I shouldn't just go in here without my team entirely, though. That's, that's a worse approach for sure. A quick knock in there on the bright wing, and Anduin has made his way over to us. Varian, I mean. Anduin is the hero my buddy Krogrin always plays with. This is his father. Is the rest of our team on their way as well? Yes, they are. I'll knock Sylvanas over to them and hope they can just deal with her while she is behind enemy lines. There we go. While I keep the rest of the enemy team just busy. Maybe I can knock someone else back. That's not really back now, is it? Let's get some fire breath in there now that we are here. We can use the Dragon Knight to at least get some siege damage in there. But in general, I would not call that too big of a success. Although I don't think we necessarily like need the Dragon Knight at this point in time. I think just with our regular old drink red kit, we will, we will pump out at least equal, but maybe even more siege damage just like this. Sure, we missed a whole bunch of our grenades there, but they are lying around for enemies to walk into. My throat becoming a bit achy. After this game, I will probably have to start cooking, so I might not. Bye. I might not have the time to read my text after all. It is five o'clock. We have a meeting at seven. No, no, I'll have the time. Structuring my day is a bit of a challenge today, especially because and no hard feelings towards her at all because I know that she feels guilty about it probably but it's not necessary one of my colleagues whom i had an online appointment with to discuss what our group therapy would be like showed up a little bit late to the party again don't blame her i don't what am i looking for what's the word i'm looking for i don't blame her for it i don't fuck god damn it i don't I don't rip no not reproach. Ugh. I don't hold a grudge. That is exactly what I'm looking for. I feel like that's a word that I often forget. I don't hold a grudge at all. Because after a while she just showed up. She was like, oh I'm so sorry I was sidetracked or I was getting sidetracked a little bit. I was having my attention being diverted into some health matters and of course health matters can definitely you you can allow yourself to be sidetracked by health matters because they are quite important more often than not so i don't hold a grudge to her one bit after a while she was like yeah i'm here 
let's do our meeting and we had a very very productive meeting so and in the end it didn't even matter in the end it was all fine in the end we definitely did what we set out to do in a timely fashion still because it was one of the only other things i had planned with my day so absolutely fine that she showed up a little bit late to the party we still had that party after all i might get ambushed here but i feel like my position is just in is just prime to wreak havoc throughout their entire base maybe we can even get some damage on this building here as well we are even getting some core damage in there but now chromi is here to disturb my rest to disturb my damage dealing abilities i'm gonna be a little bit careful make sure that i don't get put into a position where i am easily crowd controlled but my entire team is here so i think now we can turn around and just lace them with grenades just obliterate them with my grenades sylvanas you're not him bro you can't do what you're setting out to do here look at this nova try to escape this pussy boy Get some nice base damage in there, some nice score damage. Varian has the right idea of getting over here and just getting this minion wave with us, pushing this mid building instead of blindly attacking the core already. Take 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 our time. Do it step by step. Now. Now we can try and look for the core a little bit, I think. And I think we should just be able to make quick work of it, to be honest. He he doesn't just have to die for it, though. That's not something that is needed. It's not something that will help us help our team out. Can I get some heals? I think I can. Get some nice grenades in there. Careful for the chromy abilities because one more chroma, chromy ability will mean the death of me. So I am watching out a little bit. Maybe just pop my ult because that will definitely deal enough damage to get rid of the base almost entirely, I think. And there we go. A nice, nice little Heroes of the Storm game for me. Wow. A nice little Heroes of the Storm game for you guys. Didn't quite do what I set out to do. My commentary was rambly, rumbly, but I am the MVP though. So I guess in the end, who's laughing? I am laughing. Thank you very much. Hope to see you in the next one. <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye-bye.